That is a mass grave containing remains of 250,000 Rwandans who were brutally massacred during the 1994 Rwandan genocide committed against the Tutsi and moderate Hutus. It is estimated that over one million people died during the three-month ethnic cleansing that took place in the tiny East African country in 1994. In order to show the world what exactly took place in Rwanda during that horrific period and also say that never again should such barbaric acts take place in the country or anywhere else in the world, the government set up various genocide memorial centers within the country with Kigali Genocide Memorial just a few kilometers from the city center being one of them. Rwanda's capital, Kigali, is awash with both new and ancient buildings. The old ones have been preserved for historical reasons, since many people from all walks of life come to visit this beautiful country of a thousand hills. Therefore, one cannot talk of Rwanda's iconic and historical buildings without mentioning the parliamentary buildings at Kimihurura. The structure, riddled with bullet holes and cracks from heavy shelling activity, will forever be a reminder of the chaotic times RPF soldiers went through as they tried to fight and liberate their motherland. Today, Rwanda is a country whose economy is growing at a very fast rate thanks to the government's commitment to good macroeconomic policies in place. And unlike here in Uganda, where traffic laws are broken with impunity, it is a crime in Rwanda to ride a taxi motorcycle with two passengers and without both the passenger and the rider wearing no helmet. I'm Ivan Kahua in Kigali, Rwanda.